Hey folks, today we're going to look at hyperlinking in Microsoft Word for our tip of the week. As you can see, this is a new medium that I'm trying for the tip of the week. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing that you do when you're hyperlinking is obviously you create the content of your document. Here is a little mock email. And perhaps you would like to have your user simply click on a portion of your document to open up a web browser and bring them to a web page that you've predetermined. For example, the Independent Living Resource Center's website. You do want to highlight a description of or the title of the website, not the word link. The reason is because if you use the word link all the time, screen readers cannot pick up the actual website. They'll just have a big list of link, 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 link throughout the document. So yes, definitely highlight the title or description of the website. Here is the Independent Living Resource Center. There are three ways to access the hyperlink function. One is right click and go to the hyperlink in the drop down menu. Another one is under insert and hyperlink or you can use the shortcut key here. Personally I prefer the right click drop down menu. Now here's your hyperlink bar. You can see the text automatically appears up here. Here you can put in any text you want is going to appear as your hyperlink, but we already have the ILRC, so we don't actually have to modify that at all. Down here you simply type in your web address. Usually autocomplete will kick in, and so here you double check your text. You see you have the right website, and you click OK. And and everything's okay, so okay. And there, ta-da, you have your first hyperlink. So if you click this, you will go now to a web browser that brings you to that predetermined website address. As you can see, we are now on the Independent Living Resource Center's website. Great, okay, 